Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. So today I want to talk about Space Marine 2 multiplayer. The stuff I would love to see happen with that game. For those people who have played Space Marine 1, you will understand how much the multiplayer scene meant to that game. I personally think it kept that game alive through the 10 year hiatus to get to this point of actually getting a sequel. So what we're gonna do, I'm just gonna jump in, talk about some of the things that I would absolutely love to see with Space Marine 2 and the multiplayer aspect. So first off, straight is the bat. As you can see in the background right now, I am playing Exterminators. This was probably one of the greatest, if not one of the most funnest game modes I've ever played when it comes to a 40k game. In this version, of course, you are playing as Orcs. You can go in as any chapter you want. I'm playing as an Ultra at the moment because it's dedicated to my friend for the people who know about that. But there's other people in there like there's, there's a guy with a Night Lord skin. There's a Blood Raven in there, you know, looking to steal everyone's gear once the game has ended. It has that just aspect of just sheer awesomeness where you and a few friends can jump on, grab a chainsaw, a plasma cannon, melt a gun, storm bolt as las cannons and just purge away against the xenos foe so i'm hoping now that when space marine 2 comes out it does have this exterminatus game mode again and also builds upon it and i think the way you can build upon it is basically just make it more awesome one of the ways to make it more awesome add more players. This one was limited to four players. I've always said I would love to see the max amount of multiplayers like you can actually get in like a PvP game in an Exterminatus game. Now, a lot of people said, yeah, but that would just be so broken because you'll just go through all the mobs, you'll kill them all so fast. And I've always had like the counter argument, well, just make harder hitting mobs like if you have 16 players 10 players or something and just have waves of bosses and you know n knobs and all like all the big thing like orcs normally have of course in space marine 2 it's going to be against tyranid so you know you want to put some of the hq tyranid things in there maybe like the last game is a swarm lord and you need to like throw every player you bloody can at this swarm lord to bring it down to its knees to banish the xenos foe. Now, as I just mentioned at the start of this video, one of the most epic things about Space Marine multiplayer is the customization. This has to be one of the greatest multiplayer customizable games out there for Warhammer 40,000. You can play as anything you want with a customizer in this game. You can change any piece of your armor from your helmet to your greaves. It's all about what you want to do in this game. Again, when it comes to the chapters, you can make your own chapter in this game if you wanted to. The amount of colors, the palettes of colors, everything that this bloody game has is just absolutely bloody, bloody beautiful. And I've got my fingers crossed that that also comes over to Space Marine 2. Because if it doesn't, I really do think we would lose a gem which made Space Marine such a fantastic game. I think the community is a huge part to this game as well. And what a lot of 40k games have done recently is actually leave out that community aspect of the game. For example, Space Marine is the perfect thing for this. The Dawn of War games are a perfect example. They had chat rooms, player made actual multiplayer service. If you go load into Dawn of War 2 now, the original Dawn of War games, go into the chat room, there's a bunch of player made service saying you're like two versus two, these type of rules and stuff. We didn't really have that type of option when it came to Battlefleet Gothic because you didn't really have that community interaction. It's basically you just launch the multiplayer aspect and search the game. And if you look at that game now, it's dead in the water in terms of multiplayer. Where the Dawn of War games, the Space Marine game like this, which had that community aspect built into it with the chat rooms, people able to talk, organize things, is still going on today. So if they carry that over to Space Marine 2, add chat rooms, player-made servers. Now, I don't know how they're going to do player-made servers. Personally, I would like the option to host my own server because that brings a couple of advantages. One, again, it's a community aspect to it. The other is that then you can control the bad people on this game. And when I mean bad people, I mean hackers, trolls, just the basically pawn scum of humanity that just come on just to make sure people's experience go crappy. You can ban these people, kick them, so when you have your server going forward, people know it's a great place to come, it's a great place to purge, and everyone is down to have some fun. 
I think the biggest question, a part of all of this, is now that we've confirmed to be Primaris Marines in this new game, does that mean we're going to get access to the Primaris gear? I'm not on about, like, the bolters, you know, the, the bolt rifles and stuff. I'm on about stuff like Hell Blasters, Eradicators, Eliminators, all these new weapons now that Call has made. Are we going to be able to get access to this in multiplayer? Because, again, if they do that right, I think it could have the potential to be one of the best experiences when it comes to a 40k multiplayer game another aspect to this is actually who you got to be fighting against as i've mentioned tyranids in the so-called exterminatus mode but there's always a problem with that is that i always see tyranids as more as a melee faction and when you have a melee faction going against the range faction nine times out of ten the range faction is always going to win this is why i keep saying i think chaos is secretly going to be the main threat in space marine 2 nemiroff's got to come back in the storer and he's going to be like the main protagonist on the enemy side which you got to be fighting against which would then make sense in multiplayer because then you can bring chaos space marines back in multiplayer i'm not saying like don't don't leave Tyranids out the PvP. I just think a more balanced, more fair way to approach PvP is to have the same range aspect and fight Space Marines on that terms. Again, I know Tyranids have some range to it, but they don't have much. Well, they don't have as much range as normal Space Marines with like the Hell Blasters, the Eradicators, the Auto Bolt Rifles, uh, the Bolt Rifles, the Stalker Bolt Rifles. All these range things that Space Marine have, sadly. Tyranids don't. Once they get into melee combat, that is where the fun begins. But again, getting into melee is going to be a pretty hard thing against players who know what they're doing with ranged weapons. Talking of players and PvP, I think it's time to actually up the player count that you can actually have in a game. Now in Space Marine 1, it's 8 versus 8. I would like at minimum 10 vs 10 two 10 man tactical squads fighting against each other in my dream scenario maybe 16 vs 16 20 vs 20 to have that scale of just like epicness i've always said and i know a lot of people will just turn their heads in disgust at this i really enjoyed eternal crusade yes it had a lot of faults a lot of lot of lot of faults but if eternal crusade was done right if we have space marine 2 with like a map where it has maybe one vehicle on there i'm not saying like all the rhinos all the predator tanks or some of the stuff that you know just sometimes made the game awful maybe just no tanks at all but those big epic type of maps where you fight in over points i think it actually like, could be fantastic it's just a shame that ec made it so so bad because the balance issues and everything else in that game so if they do have like an awesome map set up like that where you can go in as a primaris marine fighting against t chaos fighting against maybe tyranids or something i really do think it could be a fantastic bloody game and game modes are a huge part of space marine we have the assault game mode we have the capture and control and Annihilation, the Dreadnought DLC. Well, I call it the Dreadnought DLC. The Dreadnought game mode. Sadly, it was broken more than the Emperor on the Golden Throne because the devs added it to the game and they never got time to balance it because sadly the studio went under. So when you play that game, it is an amazing experience playing as a Dreadnought, just going around purging. But again, nine times out of ten, you are winning that game when you get the Dreadnought with an absolutely decent team protecting you. Maybe they can do something fun, like now with Primaris Marine and we know like Gilliman's back. Maybe, I don't know, Gilliman mode <laughs> where you spawn Gilliman and you go around as Gilliman cutting down foes of the Emperor and the other team has to then kill Gilliman to maybe, you know, earn points and maybe they can like spawn one of their own big bad bosses. Maybe if it's Nemiroff coming back in the single play, you can spawn as Nemiroff or as Gilliman. Just some more fun game modes, I think, would really take this game to the next level. Again, I love Annihilation. I love Capture Control, Capture the Flag, uh, Seize Ground. I all thought they were fantastic game modes and the maps as well. These maps were truly fantastic. They captured what 40k is like this map we're playing now within like this little medical facility and stuff it looks grim dark it looks space well not space marine it looks 40k ish it looks imperium ish and the other maps as well like the bridge with the like shot down thunderhawk and stuff all these amazing scenarios which made you feel alive inside the game this is one i want but i want it turned up to 11 i want like 
thunderhawks flying past ships on fire. I want like random explosions. I want like interactive with the environments where maybe if I shoot something on the bridge, the bridge blows up to stop the enemy from attacking. I can blow like doors down. I can knock walls down. You know, these awesome features that we all want to see on the battlefield, maybe they can bring it over to Space Marine 2. Now, harkening back to the community stuff, I should have mentioned this back then. I'm sorry, I'm getting so excited. I'm just random sprouting everything out of my mouth. I think what they should add into this game as well is some type of community management tool where you can make like your own clans, your own community to keep track of people. Maybe on the battlefield then, like you can represent with like tags, banners and stuff. Keep track of your players' stats if it's like rank games and stuff. That's another thing. Rank games to show people who are actually legendary badasses of this game, who are putting the time the effort in maybe like they get renowned in games special titles special bits of armor for being like the best player in that month you know these little things that make people want to play the game that make you want to jump on and go right if i achieve this in the game if i kill certain amount of things i get this shoulder pad i get this helmet so when people see you then on the battlefield you think wow this guy actually is a badass. He was like the best player in like a month because he's got like a laurel on his helmet to show off like he was that ultimate bloody badass. Anyway, I'm just going to leave it there because I'm getting a headache on how excited I'm getting. I would love to get your thoughts and feedback on everything that Space Marine 2 should have in the multiplayer aspect. I want to try and send this video to the developers and say, hey, look at all these cool comments everyone's saying in the comment section. Maybe you can read it, maybe you can go through all to see what some people's opinions, some people's ideas, because at the end of the day, brothers, sisters, Xenos heretics, this game is gonna be for us. We need the multiplayer to be the best as it can be. Yes, the single player, I'm, you know, it, it, that, that is one aspect of the game, but it's the multiplayer, it's the community that keeps these games alive. So if we can make it the best bloody experience we can get, it is got to be simply amazing and keep the game alive. And then maybe we'll get sequel, Space Marine 3, 4, 5, you know, the Reclaimers of Dawn expansion. All these amazing things that you would expect from the game. Maybe that's what we can have. Anyway, thank you for coming. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. See you now and bye-bye.